<clears throat> What's up, YouTube? So, I just got um, finished watching Infinite. So, it's on Paramount Plus. It's an original movie from Paramount. Um, but, you know, let's be honest. Most of us get our movies um, if they're on special packages like this that require money. Most of us are on Fire Stick using an AFK um, application. So, if you want to know which application I watch this on the Fire Stick, just let me know and I'll do a quick little video um, on the apps that I have. Um, but this movie. First off, I just want to say it was a decent movie. If I have it get it a rating out of 10, I'll probably give it like a strong, um, a show, eh, an eight. I'll give it an eight. And an eight, I can, well, I can enjoy movies that are sevens and aboves. Um, so I'm just going to give it a solid eight. Uh, I, won't, I don't know if I, anything between seven and eight. But I'm going to lead toward a solid 8. Not a strong 8, but a solid 8 uh, on this movie. Number one, am I the only person that throughout the whole movie I was getting different vibes of other movies? Uh, first things first, let me say this before I forget. This is how the Assassin's Creed movie should have gone. Okay? <laughs> Let's be honest, because without spoiling the movie... It's basically these guys right here have their memories from their past lives, from all their ancestors. Okay? That's like the main concept of the movie on why these people are special, especially Mark Wahlberg. Because can you imagine having the memories of every single past life, of every single ancestor? And not just having the memories, but remember having the skills uh, of those memories, like they're a part of you. So imagine like uh, your past lives are like top tier soldiers, combat, gun wise, everything like that. And then you, who's never picked up a weapon or never been engaged in a fight, just literally goes John Wick. John Wick was probably one of your past lives or your ancestors <laughs> is pretty much out the uh, the theme of this uh, throughout the whole movie and I mean they 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 waste no time explaining it in the beginning but like it is what they say it is there's no explanation memories past lives being better boom um so yeah I got <laughs> I got at first it, like the concept, the idea, the writing, the directing. This is how Assassin's Creed should have been done, just a little bit. Assassin's Creed movie wasn't bad, but uh, I feel like they were trying to put their own spin on it. Whoever was directing or something like that. Uh, but also, this had a lot of like I was can first off, this movie was very readable. Let's be honest, um, and that's why it's my score is around seven to eight because. When a movie is like readable, like I can see 10 moves ahead, then it's not uh, written very good. It's not like, like it's not phew, Inception mind blowing. Okay. Like you just, you, you can see every turn, blah, 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 and all stuff. So that that's why I got it's rating. That, that's my personal opinion. I don't like, I mean, I'll enjoy movies, but if I can see 10 moves ahead and how the movie's going to be, then yellow rating okay only top ratings for movies that really just blow your mind and had you think in one way and then completely went the opposite um but yeah there was a lot of this, first off this movie is literally fast nine L let's be honest because when i saw this movie the first 20 minutes i was like is this a michael bay film and then i was like oh no okay michael bay didn't direct this okay because it just had that little feel uh, every action scene and combat scene in this, all the action in this movie, there's not a car that won't be in that action. There's freaking pristine driving, handling, uh, there's shooting and gunning, there's the, 
<laughs> every scene that has action and that literally has the action music playing has a car in it. So if this isn't Fast and Furious 9, then I'm not looking forward to the actual Fast and Furious 9 because this literally had that old school Michael Bay, uh, like 1995 or 96 uh, type of action when it came to cars, when it came to uh, shooting, the combat, and some of the combat was a little BS and there's some BS moments in there, but without spoiling the movie, I'm just gonna say there was a lot more old school action movie directing content when they did the theme of this movie okay there wasn't a lot of bs moments there wasn't a lot of cgi i think you get to the cgi when you get all the way to the end of the movie but in the beginning it's like a good 20 minutes 30 minutes of car chasing car action badass cars uh like muscle cars sports cars and all that stuff so <laughs> <laughs> I was just like sitting here and like I don't know what this movie is about. I haven't seen the trailer. All I know is I think this is Fast and Furious. <laughs> I think this is a Fast and Furious movie and not the the bullshit Fast and Furious. The one where it was just racing, car chasing, being chased by cops, car boom boom boom, all that stuff. So like I said, this movie wasn't bad. But I just kept bouncing, bouncing forth. Like this is like Fast and Furious and Total Recall. Okay, I was getting altered carbon vibes, but at the same time, I was kind of getting like the Fast and Furious vibes in any other freaking racing movie, which I don't know any other successful racing movies except for Fast and Furious. <laughs> and don't get me started on the Need for Speed movie. Um, and these two characters right here, these guys killed it. Okay, first off, his character and how he is in the beginning kind of reminds me of... The, that other film, it's on Netflix. I think it's like uh, 45 miles or 20 miles or something like that. Whatever mile. And he's pretty much the OCD kid, super smart, super intelligent, can see, like, moves ahead and all that stuff. He does the rubber band thing, blah, blah, blah. So he's like ADHD or something. Uh, his attitude, his attitude period and his character that's the type of character I saw in the other one. I mean, I'm not saying Michael Wahlberg is Mark Wahlberg is a bad actor, but we kind of know, especially when it comes to an action movie or a thriller, the character he plays. <laughs> the character he plays, the arrogance that he plays, the attitude, the smart remarks. So, but no, these guys were, first off, these guys, when I saw them, watch, when you see the movie, they'll be in a room together talking and this like just the the thumbnail of that is literally like a fan made teaser to uh um uh, four brothers part two like this is literally victor sweet and freaking what was it bobby Mer mercer <laughs> so this is like <laughs> this is the only time i've seen them on screen is in four brothers and this is literally victor sweet if you guys did not remember that so it was just, it was funny seeing them too. And both their characters are very crazy and very intense. So that's why like, I still get the Bobby Mercer and Victor Sweet vibes from these two characters. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the movie. Uh, I enjoyed the ending. My thing is, if you really wanted to blow the minds of people and you were bold when it came to directing this movie, I would have just made the ending. Him literally dreaming all this and him being in the hospital on medication like a what you call it, like a schizophrenic and when you guys watch the movie you'll see what i mean in the beginning it would have made a pretty badass ending you'd be like are you serious none of this stuff is real none of the stuff that he did was real <laughs> but the ending's not bad i mean like i said the ending is very foreseeable when you're getting into the movie okay that each scene is kind of like okay i know what's about to happen i know how this is gonna go um yeah, I've been yammering on, on about this, but that, that's pretty much all I have on my opinions. I'm like super tired. I wanted to make a quick video while the movie is still fresh in my head. <clears throat> but before I go, I just realized something. I was looking for an image for the background and I was looking at the cast. Other things. First of all, it has a pretty good cast. Uh, not too big, but you still got some good actors and actresses in there. Um, but yeah, going... To you see the cast, you see everybody, you know, 
I'll get into everybody. But where the hell was Chris Evans? I know I'm not crazy, and I was literally, I was paying attention. I was paying attention the whole movie. Okay, I was definitely paying attention. But whoever's seen the movie, please tell me in the comments what scene was Chris Evans in? Because I've seen, yeah, this guy, this guy, her, her, her. I've seen everyone. I've seen their role. I've seen they they've had playtime in the video, man. Um. Where was Chris Evans? Was Chris Evans one of the bad guy goons or something like that? Was he one of the guys wearing a mask and playing uh, a SWAT officer or the cops in the game in the movie? Where was Chris Evans? This man literally the if he's in the movie and I missed it, my man had the best cameo because uh, no one noticed. But if he wasn't in the movie. Why is he? Watching? Is he going to be in the deleted scenes? Yeah. Is was he in a one non-important scene that they decide to edit out? <laughs> Please tell me in the comments if you've seen this movie and you saw the scene that Chris Evans was playing, because I don't remember shit. <laughs> I do not remember seeing him. I would have re remembered seeing Chris Evans, seeing freaking Captain America in here, but everyone else I've seen plenty of times in the movie but not Chris Evans, all right? <laughs> so that's it, that's my take. Uh, the movie wasn't bad. Like I said, it was a, it was an eight for me, maybe a strong seven, low eight. Um, only because it was like a very readable movie. Like you can see 10 steps ahead. But other than that, the action was pretty decent. Wasn't heavy in CGI at all. Uh, there was a lot of action car scenes. So this makes me feel like, why they put Infinite here? This is literally Fast 9, Fast and Furious 9, whatever they're calling it. That, that's literally how the movie should go. Not freaking rocket ships and people jumping out of cars with no protection, landing on cars and being completely fine. Uh, directing missiles with your feet because you're super jacked and all that stuff. And cars that can not only run through freaking brick walls, but that can carry eight tons uh, with a couple bottles of NOS in the back seat. So, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to watching Fast 9 after seeing this. This was pretty good. This is as Fast 9 as it needs to be, okay? They just had a little bit of a twist when it came to, but there was still a crap load of action car scenes with beautiful cars just like you would see in a fast and furious movie um but again did not see chris evans in this movie even though he's in the cast when you google the movie uh you don't need to pay for paramount plus you can go on your fire stick if you have a fire stick then just google an apk application that supports movies especially the latest movies if you can't find one let me know and i will make a quick video on what applications i have on the fire stick that I watched a pretty good very clean copy of this movie usually there's some yeah, some waffy little copies on the of movies on the, the the internet on the fire stick but when I clicked on the thing and I clicked on one of the latest links and I pressed play at first I was seeing you know all the things that come up in the beginning of the movie other companies and stuff so when I was seeing the companies I was like mm, I think this is the wrong movie. I don't think this is the actual movie. But then as soon as I seen Paramount, I was like, okay, yeah, this is the movie because it literally says in the beginning of the movie, Infinite. It just tells you the title. So, yeah, watch it for free on your Fire Stick. Enjoy it. It's a nice little action movie. You know, this is definitely a movie that I would um, uh, watch with my dad or tell my dad to watch because he likes movies like this. Um, but yeah, my wife's seen it. I just seen it with my daughter. So it was, I mean, she didn't finish it. I finished it. <laughs> she was so tired. She was like, how many times left? Okay. I'm gonna go to sleep. It's a good, what? Like hour, um, hour, 50 minutes or something. It's almost close to two hours now, but yeah, it was an enjoyable movie. Um, like I said, strong seven, um, didn't see Chris Evans. So let me know if you find him. It's like, where's Waldo in the movie? Just Tell me what scene and I'll go and play that scene and then be like, oh, okay, there he is. Because he must have had the 
tiniest role. He must have been one of the henchmen or one of the, the police officers that were strapped in all armor because I did not see Chris Evans. I would have noticed Captain America in a freaking movie, especially in my uh, recent movie. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.